Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, welcome back to the channel. And, and happy, happy holidays! holidays. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. On this week's episode, we're going to go through a holiday gift list idea that you can have for the boater in your life. Some of these items we have and we've used personally and really enjoy, and some of them are definitely on our wish list. So if there's anyone subscribing that wants some ideas, stick around to the end and we'll be sure to share some of these with you. We're looking forward to family time on the houseboat this holiday season, and we're already cozied up with a nice houseboat drink. So why don't you grab a drink and do the same, and cheers. Cheers. The first item on our holiday gift list are things you can use to keep, keep your drinks cool when you're out on the lake. Be very honest with you, we're a Yeti family here. We've used their products on our houseboat, on other boat trips that we've been on, and we really stand by it because when it's a hot day outside, the last thing you want is your ice to melt or your drink to get cold. And there's a couple different Yeti products that we really like. The first one is this Yeti Huggy. It holds a 12 or 16 ounce aluminum can and it very simply unscrews like this to put your can in there and it screws right back on and it works fantastic. For those times where you might need something more than just a 12 ounce adult beverage, the Yeti Thermal Cup is also fantastic. We'll use this for coffee in the morning sometimes and then adult drinks later in the evening. So it'll keep your coffee warm and your ice cold. It's a great, great, great cup. And finally, the one Yeti product that we use a lot is this Yeti cooler. Our friends gave us this cooler for our wedding a number of years ago and we use it quite a bit. This will hold quite a bit of beer and a lot of ice and keep it cold for a long time. Another thing that we use this for is when we pack our food from home to come up to the lake or we're leaving the lake to go back home, this will keep everything nice and cool that's been in the refrigerator or the freezer and we don't have to worry about any of the food going bad. This holiday season, we think it'd be important to support your local stores. We have some links below where we're going to recommend this, but if you can shop local, please make sure and do that. All of the Yeti products that we have here, we purchased at a local hardware store just down the road from us here at the lake. The second category is all about staying dry. When you're out on the lake, there's pretty much no avoiding it. Your stuff's going to get wet. Whether you're out on your boat and there's a wave that comes that you don't anticipate, or if you're out swimming and then you get back on your boat, or if you're unlucky, there's a stray uh, thunderstorm that pops up and then everything gets wet while you're out on the lake. The first thing we're gonna recommend is a waterproof map. You can't go wrong with a waterproof map. If your phone dies or all your electronics die, you can always count on a, a waterproof map to make sure you can get home, especially if you don't know where you are on the lake. Maps are also great because they have some of the depth there as well. So if your electronics go out and you need, need to know if you're in a deep or a shallow area, those are very helpful as well. If you get lost, find the nearest channel marker, match it up on your map and set yourself on the right course. The next thing that we recommend, you may have actually seen going around on Facebook, is something called the Snackle Box. We don't actually own it yet, but we have a feeling we can find one pretty cheap at the local hardware store down the road. But what it is, it is a clear plastic tackle box that you could put really anything in, but for us it would be crackers, cheese, fruit, any kind of food that we want to bring out on the boat for the day and we don't want to get wet. It's just super handy when you have a little toddler that wants to eat stuff whenever they want to oh, yeah. eat stuff. <laughs> and you don't want it getting wet. So the Snackle Box definitely has uh, taken us by, by surprise that we're, that's coming to our house this year. The third category that we'll describe is whatever floats your boat. And the first item on here is the Melon Hydra Hat. That's spelled M-E-L-I-N. This is a great hat because it's obviously waterproof. So if you jump off the boat or you're at the beach splashing around in the water wearing your hat to keep the sun out of your eyes, that's a good thing. But a lot of hats can sink. This one will not sink and so if you lose your hat in the water, you'll be able to quickly find it and you won't lose a hat. 
The second item are Hamicable sunglasses. Hamicable is the brand, but the great thing about these is they're 100% wood. So if you get hit by a wave again, maybe the same way where you're wearing your hat, or you jump off the boat, or you just forget that you're wearing these sunglasses while you're in the water, these will float and you'll be able to find them. And again, the great thing about it is it's sustain sustainably sourced wood, 100%, and it's very good for the environment. So you're not using some one-time plastics that may end up at the bottom of the lake and never biodegrade and be harmful for the environment. The fourth category is apparel to keep your houseboat party going. There's nothing more annoying than not feeling good when you're on a boat or if a guest shows up or you yourself <laughs> shows up on your own boat and you start scuffing up your boat with your shoes. So the first thing that we recommend is a pair of shoes that will not scuff up your boat. We like the Sperry brand of houseboat shoes. They're not really houseboat shoes. I guess there's boat shoes. Boat shoes. So we'll call them houseboat shoes. Sure, why not? And what I like about these is that they're, they're really comfortable and they're leather top. So it'll really kind of mold to your foot after you wear them a while. But there is a breaking in period. And I mean, it's going to break you in. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to hurt the first couple of times that you wear them as they mold to your feet. But once they're actually you know, molded around. They are some of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. And you'll see these are a little bit dirty because I wear them also on the dock and around the marina. You're, I think you're really only supposed to wear them when you're on the boat, but uh, I guess I break those rules. But you can see that the bottom is white. So when I do wear them on the top deck, I'm not, I'm not gonna scuff up the top with like a black sole. Right. Yep. So highly recommend these. Keep the houseboat party going. And if you've never been on a boat and you're invited to one, grab a pair of Sperry's and you'll look like a pro. <laughs> yeah. The second thing that we recommend to keep the houseboat party going is a relief band. If you're not somebody that often is on boats, you'll notice the first time that you get on a boat after being on land for a while is that you might feel a little bit seasick. And when we first got our houseboat, before we really settled into a rhythm of frequently coming up here enough to where we didn't feel the difference between being on land and being on the boat, we would get sick. And sometimes when we go on our boat trips, when we would do like passages from an island to another island, it gets really wavy and we definitely would use these relief bands sometimes when we just weren't used to the waves. So what it is, is a band that you can put around your wrist. You use this little gel right here and you put it on your pressure point and then you turn on the watch and it sends a bit of electricity onto your pressure point and it essentially tells your brain to not be seasick. More or less that's how it works. And this one is a little bit more expensive. So if it's something that you feel like you're going to use a lot, I highly recommend getting something like this because it works almost immediately. But if you're looking for something a little bit more budget friendly, you can always get these acupressure bands that you can get at just like a CVS. Mm -hmm. They also sell these for pregnant women that have nausea during the first trimester. And I actually use these for uh, Claire. And <laughs> thank goodness <laughs> they have these. But I think these are like $12 versus this I think is 130 So there's two different options that you can use to help curb seasickness whenever you're first stepping onto a boat. And every now and then, if it's a really, really wavy day, I'll put these on and um, the first hour that we get here and then no problem we're good to go and the fifth and final category that we have we're calling toys for good boys and girls <laughs> we like to think that we've been pretty good this year and this list wouldn't be complete without a little bit of daydreaming the Just first item <laughs> the first item that we know that we want but we've been kicking the can down the road on buying is a lily pad and what this is, is a very large foam mat. I've seen some that are almost 12 feet long by eight feet wide. And you roll them out onto the water and they can hold a couple of adults laying and lounging around so you don't have to be fully submerged. And it's also really fun for little kids and mm -hmm. dogs to run around as well. They come in all different shapes and sizes and colors. And so I think we're gonna save up and for next spring, hopefully we can get ourselves a lily pad. Yeah, there's a lot of different brands out there and we've seen that the Aqua Lily Pad is one of the best selling ones. So we're looking into that one right now, but we're just not looking too closely at the price. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just, <laughs> they cost an arm and a leg for what they are. They seem like, you know, probably worth an investment, but it is an investment. So that's on our wish list. Yes. 
And last thing on our wish list while we're here is while we're dreaming. While we're dreaming. While we're dreaming. Would be a jet ski. The reason we really wanted jet ski is so that when we're out boat camping, we could have something to get back to shore really quickly if we needed to bring a guest in or if we ran out of ice or if we had a, an emergency during the day and needed to run back into shore. It would save a lot of time of having to put all the ropes back on the boat and bring come back on the houseboat. Also, I'm not going to lie, it would be a lot of fun to be able to cut a few donuts every now and then. And, <laughs> zip up and down the lake on a on kenny a, power style <laughs> yeah kenny power style just zip up and down the lake on a quiet morning or afternoon and the final thing on the list if nothing here is resonating for you and you're looking to get something for that boat owner in your life a prepaid gas card is definitely going to go a long way boats really don't run on favors or compliments and so unfortunately they're going to take some gas to get around the lake so again, if nothing here resonates with you, just get a prepaid gas card for the, for the boater in your life. And we appreciate everyone sticking around to the end. We wish you all a safe and happy holidays with your friends and family. And speaking of gas, if you haven't seen our episode on getting gas on our houseboat, you can check it out right here. Bye. Bye.